Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 38 of the great journey. So as you see right here, I built myself a new team. Of course I wanted to put Search in because he's such a god and I decided to get his Milan version. I I picked him up for I think two and a half thousand coins, but you can get him for under a thousand coins right now, which uh, is I think an absolute bargain for what a player he actually is. So, we're going to put some instructions. I'm going to use, I think, the same instructions as I used on my main squad. And, uh, of course, I'm all about that false nine hype! Because that's pretty much the only formation I've been using recently. And, uh, we're going to be jumping straight into a tournament and see how this team, how this team will fare against uh, other teams, you know? So, anyway, 4-4-2 German squad with... Adrian Ramos off top, so he, he's got some good players in there. He's got Andre Schirle, which of course I got in my team. Jaron Boateng, which is probably my favorite center back in the game. He's got he's got uh, Thomas Miller. He's got Gundogan. He's got some pretty good players in there, but Adrian Ramos is not on full chemistry. I do believe he's only on either three or four chemistry. But anyway, we're going to get the game started here in the 26 minutes with who else? Who else? But Alessio Serchi and we're going to continue on in the 42nd minute some lovely little Tiki Taka player to get it to Serchi and unfortunately it's kind of a sloppy finish or else it was a very very nice build up play by the way 86 minutes he's going to get the ball with Mario Gomez and what a strike from Mario Gomez I couldn't believe it when that went in I think that was one of his First shots on target, but what a shot! It's not like I can complain anything about it. I mean, it's even on his weak foot. Take a look at this. I can't get even. It can't get in a better top corner than that. But anyway, Kandreva says, "What you can do, I can almost do better," and he makes it three-one straight from kickoff. I don't think that was as good of a strike as Mario Gomez, but. It was still a pretty darn good strike. And anyway, in the 90th minute, we're going to play the ball to Serchi, who's got the dribbling, he's got the pace, and he's got the finish to put that one in the back of the net to make it 4-1. So this team actually felt pretty good to play with. I mean, it's pretty well balanced, which I like in my, I mean, my false nines, nine teams. Marchi Marquisio has got high high work rates, Chabellons has got medium high, and Chesk Fabregas has got high medium. And they're all and they're all got well rounded stats with good defense, which I really like in my center defensive mids uh, in this formation. Or should I say I, I want one kind of high 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 who will be able to track back and also attack like Schweinsteiger and then have one creative player like Juanes Rodriguez the, like like I like I have in this team to who just have, have that dribbling and that passing to just pull up stuff that normal central midfielders wouldn't be able to pull off, you know. So anyway, we're going to jump straight into division divisions and we'll come against the 4-3-3 side, which is pretty much a it's a Bundesliga, La Liga and BPL side. And he's got some very good players in it. He's got Lam, which I of course love on this game. He's got Schweinsteiger, he's got Iniesta, Inform Pedro, Diego Costa, and then William. So it's a it's a pretty dangerous looking side, you know. So anyway, five minutes into the game, we're going to play the ball here with Karim Benzema. Try to get through here. Unfortunately, PK stops me, but that doesn't stop Karim Benzema. He cuts inside and he gets the space and he puts that one into the back of the net to make it 1 0. So anyway. Uh, this episode and some upcoming episodes are going to be some there's going to be some sloppy sloppy goal scored anyway we get the ball there to Bastian Schweinsteiger who puts that one in to give us that 2-0 lead and then in the, in the 45th minute just before half time we steal the ball back there after a free kick we get Gareth Bale on the ball Gareth Bale's got that pace he takes a bad angle there from PK, but what a wonderful pass there to Marco Royce, but we get pretty fortunate to hold on to the ball right there, and again we get very, very lucky this to still have the ball, and we get that one in to make it 3-0. That is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about that sloppy, sloppy goal. But anyway, we get ourselves a penalty there after Marco Royce is pulled down in the penalty area, and Gareth Bale steps up, 
And I don't think that was the best of penalties. It could have been a little bit, a little bit more, uh, uh, a little bit higher. But anyway, 17th minute, we're going to pick up ourselves yet another penalty. This time, Juan Rodriguez getting pulled down in the area. Gareth Bale steps up, and this is one of the That was a terrible penalty, but fourth enough, we pick up the rebound and we make it five nil. So we got a big, big victory here. But a lot of those goals were rebounds or scrambles in the box and they were just very very sloppy so yeah even though I won I don't know how I'm, how I'm really supposed to feel about this I mean I'm happy that I won but the way I won is maybe not the way I really want to win but what you gonna do maybe karma will go and bite me in the ass later on what do I know anyway we're going to jump straight into another game and 4-1-2-1-2 BPL side, he's got some very pacey players in there. He's got Diop, Starridge, Walcott, Ramirez, Onua, Walker. He's got some of the paciest players that you can get in the BPL for very, very cheap. So, I was not really looking forward to this game. But 13 minutes in, we're going to get the ball to Schweinsteiger here. Just trying to find a little bit of space. I see Benzema is open. Just a little bit of tiki, tiki taka play here. Lovely play there. And then on the rebound, Gareth Bell is going to be the one to push that one in. And make it 1-0. And then in the second half, he throws the ball out to... I think that was the youth. But he eventually gets it to Cabela, gets it to Starish, just trying to find that little bit of space. He sees Starish with a run, and that was just some terrible defending from me, from Boateng right there. Or with Boateng right there. I don't know why I just ran away from him. I should have just tried and go, going for the tackle, you know. But anyway, only a couple of minutes later, we're going to play the ball through here to Marco Royce. Lovely over the top through ball there. Uh, Benzema got taken down just before... I played that ball, so I think I tried to actually get it to Benzema, but it went to Marco Royce, and that works out. Anyway, 90th minute, Daniel Sarge on the ball, terrible defending from me there, but a wonderful strike from Daniel Sarge there to put it in to make it 2-2, and unfortunately we pick up a draw. This still means that we aren't, aren't going to get uh, relegated in this division, which is pretty nice. That we that we have that safety right now, but as you can see, he only managed to put three shots on target. So he was pretty efficient in in the ways he in the way, ways he attacked. So that that was a little bit unfortunate that we lost that we lost the win in the 90th minute. But sometimes that is just how games are going to go. And considering the last game that I had with all the luck that I had. I guess it's a little bit of a karma. Anyway, 4-4-2 Serie A side. He's got Ibarba up top and immediately I'm thinking, oh no, I I don't like Ibarba on this game. I hate coming up against him. Then he's also got Carlos Tevez up top, which, are, which is also very, very pacey and very good on this game. Anyway, 45th minute, he's going to play the ball here with Victor Ibarbo, a over the top through ball to Carlos Tevez, who puts that one in to make it 1-0, so a little bit frustrating yet again to concede just before halftime or just before the end of the game. But anyway, 57th minute, we get the ball here with Karim Benzema, get really lucky to hold on to the ball, and we put that one in the back of the net to make it 1-1. And then, 62nd minute, after a little bit of scramble in the box yet again. I mean, take a look at this goal. I mean, that, that, that is just unfortunate for my opponent. But then, 17th minute, he's going to have a corner of himself. And I'm not going to be able to clear that one away. What kind of clearance was that, Casillas? And what kind of goalkeeping was that, Casillas? I was not very happy about him right there. And then, 87th minute, he's going to play the ball here to Carlos Tevez yet again. I give it way too much space, but what a strike from Carlos Tevez. First that strike from Mario Gomez and then that strike from Carlos Tevez. I mean, the only thing I can complain about is that I can see the goal. I can't, con I can't really complain how the goal was scored, but that I just can see the goal in the 90th minute and lose the game this time. So, very unfortunate, but I guess that's karma for you. Sometimes you're lucky and sometimes you are not. But anyway... Uh, that is going to signal the end of the episode, so thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!